Hello everyone, thank you for coming. I'm Raphael and uh, I'm the president of this uh, non-profit Net, who aims to uh, uh, put priority on social objectives. So we, we offer tools to, to help uh, people have more free and social uh, places in the, on the internet. I live in Neuchâtel and uh, non-profit too. And we are already in business since around one year. Uh, and before I was doing it on my own, the, that's why I created the non-profit to, to make it a bit more visible and more official. Hello. Hello. So we offer uh, everyone alternatives. So. Uh, we think that uh, saying that Facebook and uh, YouTube and other Twitters are saying only that it's bad, it's not enough. We, are, we need to offer an alternative. So uh, uh, that's what we do. We say uh, that we offer this alternative with uh, tools like Mastodon and Diaspora that we currently offer, just the, those two tools. So obviously it helps to bypass censorship and we obviously don't uh, track any users and we don't uh, and we give the, the user uh, the control over his data so he can control it, he can uh, download it, uh, he can do whatever he wants with it and uh, we also give the user the strongest possible security. So when they come to our site, they know that uh, <coughs> it's uh, encrypted and that they can be sure that no one is snooping on them uh, when visiting the site. So for the, we still uh, recall, we just uh, track the, the visits on our diaspora sites, uh, but we obviously offer uh, an option to opt out and we uh, also uh, when the browser is uh, has the do not track feature enabled we respect that so uh, it's just for statistical purpose and we obviously let users download we let also uh, users to close their account if they want they don't have to go to uh, a lot of steps to do that and they, they can do it very easily. And obviously they, we clearly state the terms of service in plain English and it's not 10 pages long. So concerning security, we obviously use Let's Encrypt for the SSL and we also use the NSSEC to make sure that uh, there is no spoofing of the DNS uh, that someone redirects uh, the traffic to another site that would be our own. So that's important. And our provider offers also uh, DDS, DOS uh, protection. So we also are protected against that. And the most important thing, all data is stored in Switzerland, including backups and everything. So uh, you can be sure that the data doesn't leave country. So that's what we offer. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to uh, say that we offer so a peer to instance. Uh, for the moment it's closed, it's only invite only uh, because it's uh, very expensive to store video. So that's why we decided to make it invite only. But uh, you can also uh, get invites if you want to pay a small fee uh, to, to get an account on that. There is already a few uh, dozen videos on there that I uploaded myself so that you can have a look. And uh, obviously Diaspora is our first tool, so that's the one I started with. And it's uh, the one that I'm most familiar to, so we have a to, uh, so the little stories that I wanted to leave Facebook and that uh, I, but I still wanted to have some kind of social network that I could go to 
uh, to meet people. So I, I searched the internet and I found Diaspora and I said, well, if, and I wanted it to be in Switzerland. So I couldn't find any uh, pods because they're, they're called, uh, the, the nodes are called pods. Uh, I couldn't find any in Switzerland, so I created one myself. And uh, later, I also uh, added a few functionalities, like the ability to go through Tor to, uh, to visit the, the site. The, the network is, uh, is still always growing, so we currently have around 241 nodes, the last time I checked, and nearly uh, 7,000. 700,000 users worldwide. So we are obviously not a Facebook, but uh, we try the, the, the best we can to, to attract people because uh, the, the most question that we have is that I don't go to your site, to your uh, social network because no, none of my friends are on it. So if we can just get one of those, then uh, the other ones will follow uh, shortly after, so that's what we train to do. Uh, so obviously it's private by default, so uh, everything is opt-in instead of opt-out, so all the security features are opt-in. Uh, we also uh, strip exif image uh, information so that when you load an image on uh, the server, you know that uh, we don't know the GPS coordinates or, or any of the information that's normally in an uh, image so that you can be confident that uh, we don't know where the image was taken or who or what, what uh, hardware. So, and uh, all uh, external information like uh, images that uh, people link to from other sites are proxied by Camo so that uh, it's also uh, it goes back to the security part of it where we want people to, to feel secure and uh, even if they link to something, to, to something else, the, it can be secure. So the second uh, tool that we have is Mastodon. This one is a bit bigger. Uh, it has uh, a lot of followers and uh, we have currently over nearly 3,000 nodes, so 3,000 servers, and more than 2 million users. They, uh, they obviously, what he is uh, written here is applies to all the tools. It's uh, obviously community owned, so it means that uh, instead of having a single company uh, controlling everything, you, every single person controls their own little instance. So if you don't like the rules or you don't like uh, the way the people that are in a specific instance, you can leave it and go to another one and uh, then uh, do that as long as you want to, to find the place that you like and stay there. So that's, and at free obviously, well, we, the, the, as it's free, we obviously give the opportunity to people to, to put ads if they want, but most of the sites that are visited are ad free, uh, and mine obviously is. We, we, we just want to give uh, the users the best possible experience, so that's why we say ad free. And uh, one thing also that's very important is that it's uh, all your feed, uh, all your news is in uh, chronological order, so it, there's no bots uh, uh, showing you only the things that you that he thinks that you would like. Uh, so you you only see what you want to see and the people that you subscribe to. So that's why when you first start your account on Mastodon or on Diaspora, uh, there's no there's nothing on your feed. That's also one of the questions that I get asked a lot. Is that I just started my account and there's nothing on my feed. Uh, said, but uh, that's normal because we don't generate, auto-generate things. So you need to yourself uh, uh, take control and put in there what you want to see. Uh, we don't do that for you. And uh, as I said, each server is independent. So 
if one uh, fails or goes out of business or gets closed off, well, you, you can always go to another one. And that's, all, that's important for the, we call that the federation. So it means that when you write something that's public, every uh, site, every node, every instance that you're connected to receives the same information. So that's much more difficult to, uh, to censor that and to get rid of that if it's uh, in uh, lots of places at the same time instead of just one. So our latest addition is a peer tube. So that's a, a very new project that has been started by a French nonprofit, uh, and uh, that's currently uh, still has uh, around 300 nodes and uh, 11,000 users. Uh, obviously, what we want is uh, not to get, not to be a YouTube killer, but just to be somewhere that you can find good videos, uh, videos that are not, uh, like they say, uh, clickbait and that uh, they, they get buried under the, the load of all the other videos uh, on YouTube, for example. So we, obviously, we also don't do any uh, kind of uh, selection of your uh, videos, so you get all the videos that are on the site, you can see all of them. The only thing that you can do is you can sort them by most viewed, so uh, you can uh, see the, the most popular ones, but that's just a count of views, that's, they, we don't do that uh, any of the analytics or any of the uh, we don't know what the video is about, we just know how many views it got. So the interesting thing about YouTube is that even if uh, one of your videos goes viral and has a lot of views, uh, because of the technology WebTorrent, we, every person that's viewing your video is also uh, streaming it. So. Uh, sharing it with everyone else. So that's why even a small server can handle the load of uh, a lot of views. So uh, that's uh, also a very important thing to encourage people to create servers uh, because we, uh, they don't, uh, we are not afraid of uh, having their server shut down or overloaded because they certainly uh, have a video that's very popular. So uh, we also have more features, so we have uh, uh, obviously Tor and uh, XMPP, so uh, we offer Tor as a, as a diaspora, so we can uh, visit it with that link and we also uh, maintain a Tor relay uh, of the, the guard type because that's what I found was the, the list uh, popular were the least uh, amount of nodes that offer this service, at least in Switzerland. Uh, the, as soon as you open uh, an account on Diaspora, you or, uh, automatically get also an XMPP a chat account, so you can uh, chat with everyone else uh, on the site, but also off the site, because XMPP is, also, is a decentralized messaging service, so you can, it's like eBay, you can have one, you can have an account on one server, another one in another, and they can both uh, chat together without needing any kind of uh, special tools or anything. So that's uh, also interesting for the continuing the decentralized part of the, of the internet that we want to do. Uh, so, obviously, XMPP has been made in a more uh, sensible and a more open way than proprietary uh, uh, messaging protocols. So, it's, uh, it's an open standard that everyone can look and can improve. So, that's uh, also a very good thing. And uh, we also offer 
uh, encryption. As I said, we want uh, people to have the best possible security when they use our tools. So we offer OTR and Omibo end-to-end -end encryption when using the service. And you can uh, obviously choose what level of encryption you want, if you want just clear text or you, you want encrypted. Uh, or everything is a choice. We don't uh, force anyone to do anything that they don't want. That's the gist of it. So uh, we are a small nonprofit, and we uh, uh, obviously we need uh, funds. We need help. So uh, you can become a member of the nonprofit. You can uh, request a peer-to-peer -peer account, which is uh, very cheap. It's like uh, one franc. Uh, and you can make obviously a donation. We also uh, need some manpower, so if you want to join the committee, if you want to help with the development or, or uh, maintainment, uh, maintenance of the server, you can also do that. I will be happy to get you access. And uh, if you want to contact me, uh, in on the web, all my uh, social networks are Tursiops, and uh, uh, you can also contact me on XMPP. That's where I spend most of my time. And uh, if you want to have more information about the nonprofit, you can go to fsnet.ch. And for those of you who want, I have a bunch of tickers just down there that you can get if you want. So that's all for me. Thank you for listening. If you have questions. Yes? Uh, what is your target audience? Is it all over Switzerland or mainly local people of Neuchâtel? Uh, well, target audience, all, uh, it's uh, mostly uh, countries with no free access to internet, so we get a lot of, uh, uh, most of our users are not Swiss, uh, they are from the US, they are from uh, Russia, from uh, the East, Eastern New York and things like that, so it's the people that don't have easy access to, to internet or to free and uncensored internet are the, the ones that uh, are the most interested by our tools. Yes. Uh, which XMPP server do you use? Uh, we use uh, Converse, so it's uh, Converse or GS. It's uh, that's the the part where we have the graphical interface mm -hmm. that you can chat directly on Diaspora, but then you can use any other program. Uh, for you can use uh, Dino, for example, on Linux uh, to uh, to speak uh, and connect directly to the server the, that way. So it, it's both where you can speak directly on the server or on the website. Yeah, but, but what's the software running on, on the server? Uh, well, uh, it I don't know to be honest. Uh, it's part of Diaspora, so it's it's directly integrated with it. Questions? Um, do you do you have any paid service except the PeerCube one, uh, or is everything free? Uh, yes, we we give everything free because they, they don't uh, uh, storing uh, text uh, is not very expensive, uh, so that's why we we give everything else for free uh, and. Uh, for the moment, we haven't had to, to increase our, our storage capacity, uh, so we're, we're happy to give, uh, to, to give uh, the, the, those two uh, services for free. Are there plans to have pixel tendencies? Yes, uh, we have, uh, and also we wanted to to do some uh, other instances like the the whale uh, 
don't remember the name right now, the, the, the one that supports audio uh, in a decentralized way uh, also, but uh, to uh, be able to have and to offer those kind of services, we, we just need more uh, people, more uh, funds. We cannot uh, do that if we are uh, stuck with uh, what we have. So we have uh, paid for one year of our, our hosting, so we are good until next year. And next year we will have to, to find another uh, round of uh, funding. Yes. I do not really understand why Fear2 in particular needs funding as it is distributed streaming also. When uh, the, all the players uh, stream the videos too, I think they are not really server costs. Well, the, the, the videos are uh, stored locally. Uh, you can federate with other instances and mm -hmm. uh, offer their. Uh, videos on your platform, uh, but what you uh, upload uh, it stays on your server only. Uh, other people can uh, take it and put it on their sites, mm -hmm. but uh, it's mostly uh, what people do is mostly link. So when they, they show you a video, it goes to your site to look for it, and uh, it. Uh, that's why that's how we, most people do it and uh, try to get as little uh, storage as they they can when uh, when doing that. Mm, I understand there must be an initial initial bandwidth for the, the seeds, but later I think this is like BitTorrent. Uh, as soon as people look the video, they can keep the copy on the computer and stream it also. So the bandwidth on the seed server is reduced? Yes, they, they, they can do that and they, they can also download directly the video uh, to watch locally on their computer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we don't, as I said, we don't uh, lock anything. We, we don't uh, prevent people from downloading or anything like that. We, we offer people all the choices that they can have. You had a question? Uh, I think uh, this, the cost can be reduced by that, by using such uh, distributed uh, streaming. But I understand that the cost is always on the seed server. Yes, uh, we, we have a uh, bandwidth also uh, cost, but that's uh, uh, mostly uh, it's very small compared to the cost of uh, the story in the, the videos. Mm. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. Yes? Uh, uh, do you, or, or like, how do you handle like instance wide blocks? Do you like block any other instances? So uh, it depends on what tools. For example, on Diaspora, there's no. Uh, currently possible way to block an entire instance. Uh, you can only block people. Uh, on Mastodon, yes, you can block uh, entire instances, so you can do a domain block. Uh, and you can also, there are several grades of blocking, so you can, for example, if you don't like the pictures that they're sending you, you can just uh, say that you can still federate with them, but all the pictures that they're sending you, you just ignore them, uh, you just keep the text, and then you can completely block everything. And on PeerTube, you can also block instances. Uh, but, and yes, yeah, you, you can also prevent instances from traveling with you too. So if you don't want people to, to be able to follow your instance, you can also do that. Do, do you like enforce some locks on your users or do you just say yeah that the users have to find what they want to lock? Uh, so yes, they, they, well we obviously are bound by Swiss law so yeah, everything yeah. that's, uh, that's the, the, everything that uh, violates Swiss law is, is blocked by default by me or when it's reported. 
and but people can also report things uh, that they see so uh, all the tools have a little triangle icon uh, that they can report uh, a post or someone or uh, uh, something that they see that they think is not uh, good or doesn't adhere to our policy or the laws of the country so and then we review that uh, when it arrives to, to us. So if you want to be part of the moderator team, you can also. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not much time. Uh, I have actually, I must confess, I'm not the server administrator. I'm just the head of the, the non-profit. I just give the ideas. I have two friends that do it all the administering. And, uh, but mostly they do uh, uh, instance updates. So uh, uh, because it's a Docker container, they uh, it's pretty easy to uh, to update uh, the instance when there's a new one. Okay. Thank you, everyone.